Man, you come straight out of a cunt. I can't even talk more about that shit. That shit is too fucking much. That's how I, that's how I truly feel. I want to have a good time. I don't mind seeing ass and titties, but at the same time, I, you guys go extreme afterwards. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like there's someone else spitting someone and slapping them with their titties and everything, and everybody's having fun. I'm like, bruh, uh, yeah. Like you yeah, said, yeah. like you said, from 10, 10 to five, family time. Right. Hour break. Six o'clock when the sun going down is sin time. Right. You can do what you want. Twenty one and up. You know, that's why, you know what? One of one of the aspects of cosplay that I do respect, like I respect the gender bending cosplays who don't rely on like the scantily clad. Like I understand that that's an aspect of it, but like I love if I like you know as a gender bending scorpion, but it's not about like a scorpion with you know less clothes. It's, it still look beasty as fuck, but it just look like a woman version of it. Like right. I right. love that. I love but that even, shit. But even the one with less clothes, like take for like Seven Deadly Sins, like a Merlin. It's like. Yes, it's skippy, but it's still to the point of being like you can make it a tasteful thing. Yeah, yeah. Like it ain't gonna, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Like it's just yeah. like right? you, can still, you can still rock it. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Why? Because I'm having flashbacks of everyone that was wearing like fucking seven. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> God. Oh man, really I her, but at the same time, I have my limitation when it comes to that, bro. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's Golly, a, that's how I I'm, trying to, I'm looking up people's cosplays. For I, what? Love Se- I love Seven Deadly Marlin. Seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you like? Uh, nobody really Twitter. eating. I see one guy though. He, you, oh, wait, you, you, should, you should see. Um, uh, my cinematographer, he went as uh, Escanor, uh, during C2E2, killed mm-hmm. it. Killed it like he he bodied that shit. That um, I seen the chick dress as Meliodas, and I thought that was fly as fuck. Like how he mm-hmm. normally like with the baggy pants, but she kind of like tailored it up and had it. It was that she was hard with that and had the sword. I was like, yo, that's a dope Meliodas right there. I see more women do Deanne. She, they do her. Yeah. Oh yeah, because Deanne easy. Deanne's real easy to do. It's just like you just got oh, sure wear one piece. Suit, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And get boots. Who they got the pigtails. The pigtails. I haven't seen. I haven't seen a Deanne with some thunder thighs yet. No, I haven't. Nah, I have not I seen. Haven't yet. I, I haven't, haven't seen, seen a Deanne yeah. with thunder thighs yet. And we're live right now. That. Yep. I haven't seen a Deanne with thunder thighs. Damn Who it! Got thunder thighs on this. <laughs> a whole bunch of people. <laughs> they do. Well, I, I put it. I put my guy in the uh in the uh in the private chat if you want to uh, show everybody. That's that's his um that's his Escanor. I thought it was dope because, like I said, you don't see that many black Eskinors, and I feel like his stature and the oh. way that he like he he killed it. Wow, he looks oh, yeah. good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's our cinematographer, man. He oh, yeah. dream, huh? yeah, oh, he's, he's, he's suited up too. Hell yeah, very yeah. regal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, what was dope was it was like you know we were walking through C two E two, so many people were stopping him like, bro, like people was excited because you got to think you don't see that many black Eskinors, and 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 when people do do the Eskinor, they usually do it with the shirt off to kind of show the muscles. So yeah. he showed that that he went to this, he went with the suited. He went, to, he went to the human version. I mean, he went yeah. to the, uh, the mortal version. The, yeah, the mortal version. Yeah, the mortal version. Uh, this is hard though. I fuck with it. I like the suit. I makes me want to. I'm gonna start wearing suits now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You know, after after going to Japan, yo, we don't have, we don't have I, 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 I want to hear about I that could, experience, bro. And I could definitely see you wearing the suit while you playing dodgeball. Like, you just take, <laughs> you just take the, yo, you take the jacket off and you take, actually, like, yo, you just real proud, yo, and killing it too. No, no, you see, you got to take it off. Like, you got to take it off anime. You got to take it off. Like. Oh, Actually, like, yeah, know, I, I gotta get some stretch ones though because yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, for sure. But they had that though. But they had that. Just look for like stretch, like uh stretch suits, and they'll show that. I think they have them on Amazon too. Now, did y'all see anything yeah. crazy out there, bro? Okay, so when I went to Japan, right, we went to Osaka first. Mm. Osaka's humbled us really well. It, it we got we we felt too uh too clingy with uh with the uh, osaka because as soon as you go to osaka right it's peaceful it's respectful and their food is a, literally a 10 out of 10 every single like every single food that they 
made. It was fucking delicious. Am I allowed to cast? Because I know we're yeah. live right oh, now. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, fucking yeah. delicious. It was like literally 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. There was, there was no disappointment except for when we went to go get Kobe at a um at a restaurant. We did it for experience. It was fun. But then we went to a Kobe around the corner, like in the market. Oh my God. It it was like food wars all over. Like everywhere. <laughs> literally. I would post those videos of what I said, but I'm not going to do it because I, yeah, I just, yeah, whatever. Anyways, so the food is amazing. The 7-Eleven, literally, I kid you not, as soon as you go to, as soon as you go to Tokyo, I mean, not Tokyo, as soon as you go to Japan, you want to go to 7-Eleven first. I've heard. Where? Why? There, it, it's fire. Like really? they have actual food. Fucking fire. What a capital F. Both of them. Fucking yeah. fire. Do you know? <laughs> I gave it to Kiki because I tried it and I was like, this would be better on her side. So I recorded her literally. And she was like, she walked off. She was in heaven. She walked off. I was like, yep, that shit is fucking fire. Seven Eleven cooking like that? Do, do, do point, do point, do 7 Eleven points transfer over? Is there, is there any information on that? I don't even know. But, got, uh, is it international? <laughs> are they international? I got, I got like 30,000 points. You know, can, can I use those over there? But I can tell you that their food is very cheap. Um, they are very nice. Um, they love to see like people from out the country to come to their place and stuff like that. Um, that was Osaka. When we went to Tokyo, it was kind of like a little version of New York and Las Vegas put together because it was a lot of tourist people there. Mm-hmm. And you can, you can just feel the difference between Osaka and Tokyo, literally, uh, Tokyo, <laughs> since there's a lot of tourist people, there's a lot of women at nighttime, Uh-oh. I had an encounter story. It was it was pretty funny. Me and Vader were about to. Uh, it was his birthday. We was about to like go back to the hotel and stuff, right? I'm walking by myself. You know, I'm usually walking by myself and stuff like that. Oh, also, you're gonna be walking a lot. Twenty thousand steps at least. Okay, so actually ten thousand steps. Let's put it that way. That's the minimum. But twenty thousand is the max. We literally woke up from five and went home at eleven at night. Um, so back to Tokyo. I'm, I'm walking, about to go upstairs. I bought some snacks and stuff like that, and I was going to put it in my hotel. A woman came up to me. Two women came up to me. And she's like, oh, you want a massage? I was like, no, I'm fine. She started woman handling me. And I was like, uh. I was like, no, I'm fine, please. And I was like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm, good. I'm good. And it was like, okay, okay. You're so handsome. I was like, yeah, thank you. Get away from me, motherfucker. <laughs> Get away from me. So uh, I went upstairs and, like, did a... Uh, return like you know put in the put the food away and stuff like that went downstairs and vader like as soon as i open as soon as the elevator opened up vader's right there in front of my face he's like hey did you just and i was like yep yeah. same thing happened to me with that lady he was like yeah okay i wasn't the only one that was tripping i was like yeah yeah they out there they uh they out there uh they out there trying to give you um massages that happy, yeah, 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 yeah. That happy ending no literally a woman came up to me and said you want a massage, sucky, sucky? I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. That that? Yes. Oh, Literally. my freaking gosh. Hey, Yo. Also- I- go ahead, go ahead. I got, because I got to ask. I got to ask, but go ahead. Go ahead and say what you're going to say, but I got a question about it. Also, we went to the club, and there was a 7-Eleven right there, and I was like, I got to give me, like, something. They, they have alcohol in there. They have everything in there. So as soon as I walk out, literally one, like, here's the door, like, opening, right? Stick, stick my head out one time a lady came up to me this close and said hey you want a massage i was like no i don't want a massage get away why are you so close to me no they have they have no personal space like i learned networking at apple like they do not believe in that that's why they'd be so close bro oh also you can't even, um there's no trash there isn't any trash to throw away oh like, yeah you have, bags, you have to keep it in your hands like you have to have your own trash bag because their floor is so it's not clean, but it looks so clean and neat. And then I came back here. When I got back here, I was just like, bro, I hate this place. I hate this <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gotta go back. I, I like as soon as we arrived back to uh to Cali, people was already yelling at each other. I'm like, bro. Like, but man. like for a whole week, I was like, I hate America, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you was having withdrawals. Like, I, I was having withdrawals. I was only there for eight days, and I was like, "Bro, I want to go back. I want to stay there longer than eight days." I, I want to go home. <laughs> like, well, you, know home you, you know, you know what's funny? It, 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 in uh, Asian culture, like the most serene people 
they walk like this. They kind of walk with their, you know, chest out. But you see Pierre, he said, as soon as he got back, what'd he do? <laughs> like you change your stands. <laughs> yep. Man, I'm too. mad. I was really mad. There's one more thing too. Their fashion. Oh, legit. their fashion is top tier. I can imagine. Oh, I can they're imagine. wearing suits. Yeah. They're wearing. Uh, they're wearing a whole bunch of stuff. But I've I've seen a, a few guys wearing suits. Like their fashion is incredible. I'm like, bro. As soon as I came back here, I was like, damn. All these motherfuckers are wearing leggings and 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 black and like the same same kind of outfits and shit. Like niggas in, in niggas in Tokyo, literally. Shout out to Keats. Niggas in Tokyo, because he made a song called Niggas in Tokyo. Yeah. Um, it was dressed like they they like they're just going out, but they look good as fuck. And I'm like, I need to start dressing like that. So afterwards, I just start looking at stuff. I was like, okay, how can I? Bro, look Japanese, <laughs> Japanese streetwear even looks performative. Mm. But it looks so dope. Like I'm like, bro, you look like you straight out of an anime. But that's the urban streetwear. It looks so dope. Like I love they the way that they do their pants. Their pants yeah. just makes it look. Every outfit looks so fucking drippy. Mm-hmm. They jack. They jackets are ridiculous oh. and insane. Oh, yeah. like, yes. Yo, every I ain't no, I've yet to see a bad one. Even the ones that's like very extravagant. It's like I ain't gonna lie. I, I try to rock it. I know I can't pull it off, but I I, I tried. I, I had a vest. I never wore a vest before, and I bought one, and I look good in it. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> He's like, why haven't I been known this? <laughs> why didn't nobody tell me? <laughs> now, now I do got to ask though, because I heard, I heard something. Now I heard it. Don't judge me, but I heard it. Oh, I know he's gonna ask. Now I heard that there, there's this restaurant that you can go to, where they serving. Hot fresh ass that you can eat. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah. So like, and ask like, from what? So like, you come. So like, so like, you come. You sit down, right? And there's a hole right there where you oh, sit. No. And then that hole opens, and then some ass comes out. I was say, what hole? And, yeah. Where's this at? It's, oh, they said that's in Japan. What? Yes. I don't even want to Google this. I was gonna Google it. I thought it on TikTok. I saw that on TikTok. Somewhere. Yeah, That's you crazy. you can go eat booty yep. in this That's restaurant. You just be like, I just want some ass. Like, what do you yeah. search for that booty yeah. eating restaurant? Yeah. Grocery ass. eating restaurant? Like, what do you search to get to the ass eating restaurant? All I know is this: as Pierre said, the massages kept getting in his face. That started sounding more people to me. <laughs> Found it. Found it. It's called serious. It's called Angus Steakhouse. Japanese. Anus. Yes. Aris Licking Restaurant. <laughs> Aris Licking Restaurant. I, so, I, I would have never thought to see, see those words grouped together. This Bro. is like the first thing that I see. I'm going to put this in. This is a private chat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, my but, God. I found the picture that's on this fucking article. That's the one I just yep. saw. That's the one. Yep. <laughs> what the? F- that's it. Fresh, I told you, fresh, fresh ass. <laughs> now, now listen to this. This may sound weird, but it may happen in the future. Now, if they do this shit at cons, nigga. Ah, no, don't put it out in the atmosphere, Pierre. We don't just talked about full circle no, 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 moment. No no, 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 you can't do that. Cause look, we, you, you. Larcy, Deuce, we all know people, they be some people that stank up there at them cons. That's oh, why you can't oh have Oh my that's God. Why, that's oh. why you can't have that. You Jesus cannot Christ. have that though. Look, have that. listen, I plan. Where deodorant at cons? Where deodorant? Look, let me help you. Hold up. Antiperspirant. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Antiperspirant. I'll need that more than deodorant. <laughs> what? What? Maybe plan. take a, sh- a what? shower. What? If you don't have a stick deodorant, Here's a spray. Spray that bitch. It's little. Look, it's a pocket travel. Look at it. It's a travel pocket. You could. Oh damn, I stink. Scared. What the hell is wrong with y'all? I, I plan. I plan to do. I need to help people out. I need. I plan to do a video where I'm just like, hey, look, con season is approaching. Y'all need antiperspirant, deodorant, a dry cleaner. Fucking. Please tag me when you do so. so Perfume. Wait, I can post it. I'm gonna repost that everywhere. <laughs> For sure, yeah. niggas don't take their um their cosplays to go get dry cleaned. They don't want to wash it because they don't want to mess it up. I hear you, 
Dry cleaner. Dry. Here's the thing. What, what what I don't ever understand, like everybody has been in a situation where we all had to rush, right? Mm. But hopping in a shower and hitting your pivotal points, it doesn't take that long to knock that out real quick. I don't care how late yeah. you running. You can knock that out, hit Literally. your pivotal points real quick. Armpits. Listen, Cooter. all you need to do is take you just take you a horse bath. That's what that's what my uncle called. Oh, bath. Yep. 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 Oh, just just boom, in the boom, sink. Boom. Bow, yep. bow, 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 bow. Your yeah, ass. Just, yep. All you cops but wash your ass. Like that's the, I don't, I don't know you're... why y'all be skipping the ass part when y'all wash. I like because I don't you, know if you're worried you about your, when you get up from your seat. Trust me, that air Ooh. travels. <laughs> yeah, travel, like yeah. that. Have y'all ever caught like the like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like a, yeah. All, uh, of, all, of, all of us have done this. Oh, I did this. Look, like, when it was in my, front face of my face, literally like, goes like sinks in, like you know, and disgusting. I want to vomit. Like, when, every, I, when it hits me, I'll be like, and then when they walk up, <laughs> I do it in their face. It, it's the pass by to me, and that wind hit you, just feel like you're getting punched. You just, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. This, shit, it, this shit is massively crazy. People, make sure you guys wash your ass. And if you're right by a hotel, go there and wash your ass still. It doesn't matter. Please. Please. Like, two showers. You know, every, minimum. Two showers minimum if you are going to a con and then after shit. Like, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I got to say this because this happens at a lot of cons. And this is how people really get fucked up. Please. Listen here. You are walking around a con for a bare minimum three hours. That's the That's minimum true. that you're walking around in that cosplay. And I get it. You're going to leave the con and you're going to go to whatever after party, whatever club, whatever kickback. Please watch in between. Do not go straight from con to party. That's not how you do it because you're going to stink. There's the just uh, life in general is going to make you stink. And if I may interject, <clears throat> you want to change. Yeah, right? you want to look good. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'd be confused. Like, honestly, I know this is like con parties or whatever. I'd be genuinely confused when I see niggas show up in cosplay at like a in the party. same outfit. I'm in like, the bro. same outfit. I'm like, oh, you didn't go you home didn't. and wash your ass. Oh, you didn't change? Trying to holler. Wet. Trying to holler at a, trying to holler yeah. at a cosplay person. Like, your, bro, your, like, your, no. your, wig, your wig ain't laid back down from since right, you, you, you got sweated it. out. Like hey, his, change, like here, readjust. I like, can I can see the natural hair now on I, the wig. <laughs> I I get it, you know, first come first serve. But this, your leotard, then, your leotard look a little bit droopy now. I'm just, I'm just. I mean, wear and tear. Your leotard also, is not going to stay. Also, also, I got to say this: stop being cheap at cons. Which I'll say, if you're gonna cosplay, you need more than one cosplay. Because yeah. I didn't seen some people that done that same thing. They went there, went out the whole out, weekend, stayed out too late, went to sleep. They took a shower, but now you put them same stank ass clothes on and came uh, back to the con the next day. Okay, you don't have to uh, cosplay every day. Yeah, don't you don't have to cosplay every day. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not, I'm not either. Like, if I be tired, a nigga be tired. Like you, you might get a closet closet cosplay out of me. Mm -hmm. Gotta cosplay every day. Lark, Lark see, you don't count because even when you dress down, you just cosplaying as a model, so you don't count. Um, I'm actually oh, not, not cosplay. Model. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I put some respect on it. I am. I respect I am. you. I'm just saying, say it's model right there. Yes. <laughs> We're going to you. But hey, look, I be helping people out. Like I model, so I mm -hmm. I feel like I know what I'm talking about. Hey, yeah. you do. You, you listen, you got to change depending on what you want. You got to change fast. You got to like you do a lot as a model. So, yeah, you definitely got the, the tips and tricks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like, and you like do Superman. not come to a fucking <laughs> do. Do. Models do be like Superman, especially when y'all be y'all doing y'all runway shows. Y'all like, got to walk out, walk back in and immediately change to get ready to walk back out. Walk back in, like, yeah, See, I haven't no. I haven't done runway yet, but I only have like the utmost respect because it is just like when I've seen behind the scenes, chaotic. Like, you like think it's, them. huh? I feel like they drag them as soon as they like get back in the come house. here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, no, it is. No, <laughs> they, they, they as no. soon as they get off the stage, they're running down the stairs, mm -hmm. they're snatching everything off. And I'm a liar, I actually did do a runway show at Anime Expo. Um, and it was low key. Thank you, thank you. It was low key the same. Luckily, I had time, but that time, like. 
in between, like one set and then the other, was not enough. Yeah. Like, I yeah. had to change my makeup, throw on another wig, change my whole outfit, and I was in fucking, what is that shit called? Um, what is it called? When they dress like little dolls and shit? Um, Sailor Moon? No. no it's not, nah, uh, Juju. It's just, oh, fuck. What Lolita. Kind of there we go. Lolita. Oh, Lolita. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's five fucking pieces to an outfit. God like, damn. The stockings, the shoes, the undergarment, the fucking little petticoat, the dress, the gloves, the it's a ten piece combo. Like it was a lot. Look, but, shout out to someone that decided to do that. Seriously, whoever did that shit, shout out to them because that shit sounded like it was a lot of work. I'm not. It was a lot of work, but it was so <laughs> much fun. But the moral of the story, I didn't smell nobody. <laughs> they, they, so, know, they know what's up. Seriously, it was like, yeah, oh yeah, be- yeah. And I brought a change of clothes, like. Oh yeah, to work you can't, right you can't after. Do that. Yeah, you can't do that, and they'll clown you back there too. My homegirl do like uh, modeling and stuff. They'll clown you. Like you come up in there, stinking, they won't like tell the, you. Pe- the people that change or oh, will roast your ass yeah. so yeah. bad. You they you be like be like, honey, you don't know how to clean your pussy. You suck like that. <laughs> uh, uh-uh, is that you? I've never, <laughs> yo, never in my life have I ever gotten that. I would never leave. I would never yo. leave my house. I, got I, a heard, homie. I, I right. heard a dude do that. He was just like, yo, he bust out. He said, oh, my God, who brought Long John Silvers in here? And I was like, you know what? I, here's the thing. I can't, this, I can't this, this, this is why I tell everybody. I mean, obviously, off the rip, off the rip, you know, like you shouldn't have any problem with anybody of the LGBTQ plus community. But having a gay friend is by far one of the funniest things ever because yeah. they have. Or no shit. filter, and yeah, you know. just <laughs> they have no you, sit there <laughs> laugh. you can do shit but laugh. <laughs> That's it. Like, Damn. Hours, I I say that, but... hours of of hilarity, like oh my god. Some of my favorite people that has ever been within my life has been has been gay men, and yeah. just to, just to hear their comments, like people watching with gay men is hilarious. Yeah. I just gotta throw that out there. <laughs> yes. yes, funniest shit ever. Going to I the mall know. with them is hilarious. Like, yo, I never went to the mall with a gay person. With a gay guy. Oh, it's Should. so much fun. I, so I got to see how that is. It's so or spend fun. just a day like watching something, <laughs> and then, or even go to a con with one. I swear to God, mm-hmm. you're gonna be. They and they great wing people too. They be like, "Yes, bitch, we looking at you. You, my friend is cute. Yes, yep. and Come talk to him. I'm and like, an added benefit if you get into any beef, they got them hands. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yeah, I've been watching top, videos. I'm like, hmm, better quit top, them. <laughs> top, <laughs> top three ass whoopers I've ever seen in my life, and one of them is a gay dude. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> I was yep. like, yo, that man, and, and he would, and he definitely is a very flamboyant type of person, very, but, but very peaceful. Like he don't really be looking for smoke. So it was just like and when, when he flipped down, that, be like. Yo, when he flipped that switch, yeah, I was they, like, they, they, they be having the stance all the time. You be like, yo, yeah, you ready to get down. Come on, nigga. Damn, I mean, because think yo. about it, like, you got to defend yourself with like people always coming at you for like, yeah. you know, no you, like, you know, you got to learn how to whoop people ass. And they be whooping ass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Entertaining. That's all. I, I, I definitely laughed at that fight when he fell. That dude got knocked <laughs> no, the fuck out. You I know laughed. what? Anime ass whoopings. <laughs> what else I like about, uh, Gay men, I don't think it's just gay men. I think it's just, I feel like I'm saying this wrong, but I don't want people to like kill me after this. Um, when they voyage, when they Vogue, 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 Vogue. that shit is hard. It, oh, it, it, yeah. I, I don't know where it is. I, I usually see gay men doing it. Yeah, I, I, yes. that's that's why I usually see it, but I'm not, I may be wrong about it, but that's that's what I see on the, on the internet. That's, that, they, that's what that I see. Yeah. When, when they do that shit, I'm like, bro, how you do this? Like, nigga, you be on your fucking floor and shit. I'm like, bro, I actually, like the death drop that they do. They the be, death yeah. drop is ridiculous. I'm like, like yeah, y'all, you ain't fucked up. I did it one time. Yeah. I did it one time and I was like, yeah, this shit's a lot of work. I'm gonna try it though. <laughs> it looks yes. hard. It looks hard. Yeah. That, I that, seen that, that, I, all I seen was one where they dropped all the way down and they started doing this and literally was picking themselves back up by their leg. And I was like, my yo, what kind prank. of exercises you do prank. to do my that? Yeah. Like, well, what is this? What I, is this work that you do? I, I need to try that out. 
Yeah, because I because I never knew what it technically was and stuff yeah. until I went like saw a video of it because they had the show come out on uh, uh, FX and I was just like, oh, and it's way fun. more. Yeah, it's like it's way more than what they be showing on the little clips on Instagram mm-hmm. and stuff. I'm like, that's like a, a whole thing. Stage and everything. It's crazy. You know what? Yeah. It's like, you know what? Death like drop a... clips. I love. I. I love the compilation ones they do it where it's like they do the death drop and then it's mm-hmm. splice it's spliced into like somebody something else shit. Yeah, yeah but it's like in the same type of like fashion of how they did the dev drop them videos be <laughs> that should be that actually does crack me up like yeah. it was someone swinging on a swing yeah and then they jumped off and it fell and it just turned into somebody <clears throat> like hit yeah. the it was actually <laughs> hilarious it was ever edited that shit was like yo yeah them transitions for those be great those crazy yeah that's fucking cool bro i cannot believe that shit yeah Yeah. i i want to go to a ball actually like i think that would be listen one of the one of the oh i think you would kill it up there at the ball no, 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 no. I mean, like, I want to watch. I no, 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 no. I'm saying called. go and experience. No, go experience oh. it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just, I'll experience yeah. it. Don't yeah. ask me to do nothing. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> One of the greatest, um, like, experiences that I had at a con, we did, it, it was a fashion show that mm-hmm. we saw that was, um, uh, thank, Didge, what was that fashion show? What was the fashion show that we saw with the, um, with the, um, with the LGBTQ community? What was the fashion show that we saw at, at um what was it called? At the um like at the the, what black people do when- Oh it was a, it was a, it was a cosplay drag show. It was so dope. Oh my god. Oh, like wow. we I was just going to ask that. We we <laughs> so we you know we cover these conventions as press all the time. And so we just mm-hmm. walk in and we see the cosplay drag show and I was like, "Well, let's just walk in and let's see what it's about." You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cuz I'm like I, I never seen it. When I tell you this was one of the best production shows, fashion shows, and the cosplays were 10 out of 10. I said, yo, this is amazing. We couldn't we couldn't wait to report on that. It was just so dope from front to back. It was cold. Wow. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was I was actually gonna ask that. I'm like, that would be fire if there was like a like cosplay. Like it, voguing competition or something. Bro, like that'd that. be hard. That'd be hard. Yeah. Because especially, uh, yeah. especially if you dressed up as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure character. Oh my oh, god. Shit. That's the whole thing. No, oh, that's oh, that's, baby. that's all of it. Oh, one oh. thing. The jo- oh, the JoJo vote the JoJo Vogue show. Come on. Oh, I bet you. I bet you. After this, someone's gonna do it. Someone's, someone's gonna, gonna do it. Do it. Uh, and y'all know where they got it I from. Know, I, I need to I need to sell this to a uh, <laughs> ASAP. Yeah, so. so this shit now. Yeah, this you gotta sell that now. I don't the know. Joe, maybe I'll Joe maybe Joe I'll show. I'll probably tell Frankie. I'm like, hey, you might want to, yeah. you know, you wanna host an event, <laughs> right? Hey, you want to host something, <laughs> right? Hey, y'all no, can pitch that at DreamCon for real. I was thinking about that. And it may just happen. It it, it may. It, it's 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 already like everybody's already prepped up of having multiple parties you know yeah. what probably in that party they can have it there yeah just have, yeah fire. just add it to the party yeah. add- you just need Ooh. like a fire dj though too DJ is- yeah. or, or, yeah, or okay or, well there you go or moon man yeah, flow. oh boy that was rocking out the um dream con last year moon man flow had that motherfucker rocking mm. which day was that like on, on the uh that last party no i wow. think it was the second party i think it was on saturday because wreck it ronnie was on stage with him that was DJ Senpai too. Yeah, I oh. think that was DJ. Oh yeah, you're right. That was uh, Senpai. That, that was, was that was the Senpai. Senpai. That was Senpai. Yeah, yeah. So well, fact, I can... man was doing. He was doing the Dream Lounge. He was rocking the Dream Lounge. Let me hit up Senpai right now. Yeah, Senpai. Actually, so some put that together. Hey, where's he at, DJ I'm... Senpai? Okay. I need I need some credit on that too. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's that's all you. I, I you not, that is literally all you. So, I'm just kidding. No, yeah, I think that would be a fire idea. Cause like I haven't seen anything like that, like a con- cosplay like mm-hmm. contest, like you know. But Vogue, I think, no, you y'all got it. Like it's, the, the, I'm telling y'all, the JoJo Vogue party. Like yo, that's mm-hmm. that sells itself. JoJo Vogue party, that yep. lit, lit, yeah, fire, oh, yeah. amazing. I yeah. would actually really, really love to see that. Yes, we to me too. Put this together. No, we no, got no. to see. Yeah, we got to see. Right 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 now, right now, Pierre. Yes, will this here. always right happen? Now. I think. I think instead of always doing straight out of a comic book too, we just got to start doing workshops. Just we yeah. all get together on a Zoom and just start workshopping shit. 
because this I mean that's every that's time, technically bro. that's technically what fandom fiction is. That's why yeah. it's just like it kind of <laughs> gets your creative juices going, and then you just start coming up with stuff. But it's just like I wanted to be if anybody ever sees it or it goes like, "Yo, you know where this came from? It came from <laughs> here. It was right here where it started. Right here, nowhere else. Nowhere right else. Here. Nowhere else." Not that I, that. Like, I love that, actually. and I appreciate that because I actually uh I was trying to shoot eight episodes, but I only got the chance to book seven. But y'all just kind of made this an episode, so this was dope because you could just consider this the cosplay episode, and then yeah. y'all can check out the hey. next fan of fiction where we about to get into anime though. So make sure y'all check that out. I want to thank my guests, Lark Scene, Pierre Steps, and Young Deuces. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel, uh, go in the comments below, and tell people to. Stop being stinky at these cons. Tell them, <laughs> man, 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 look, look. Here's a, I'm not advertising this, but use a spray, bro. We have, look, they have a. They, I'm crying. You turned the whole thing around. <laughs> I'm not. They have a spray. Look, look. They have a spray. Look. This is all you gotta do. That's it. Look. That's the one That's I like use. I'm like. Have well, I remember have some decorum at the, I remember uh, <laughs> the, the greatest like compliment I ever received actually in Pierre, you gave it to me was at Anime NYC the first time I went and you hugged me. You was like, damn, you smell good. Come smell Alexis. I was like, that I, really I, made me happy. He was telling gonna, niggas to come and smell me. I ain't gonna hold you. When somebody has a legit reaction of damn you smell good, it changes everything because yes. that happened to me in high school. And ever since then, I've been all about smell goods. Exactly. And like, you, know, like, one. you have a woman tell you, oh, you smell good. And like they want to hug you. Oh, hell yeah. You know what? I'm getting I'm, I'm in yo, ain't, ain't, oh. ain't, no, ain't nothing better than hugging a woman and that whiff coming. You just like, oh, oh yeah. Damn. Like just <laughs> yeah, that good, like, damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You smell yeah. great. I, yeah, I really, I really try to like smell good, or at least like try perfumes that like smell oh, yeah. good on my body. And that's another thing, like yeah. don't just buy shit just to buy it because it's popular. Make yeah. sure it fits on your body, Strange. like it works with your body I, chemistry. That's how you get I the damn use cologne. I use shea butter, as you should. Oh yeah, as you should. And you smell I, good. Yeah. See, see, you how see, see for but but for my for my big fellas though, what you need to get you need to get your oil. <laughs> Okay, need oh, to get yeah, your oh, oils. Yeah. Gotta get your oils. Yeah. You just yes. you already you already know. Don't be embarrassed because I'm gonna do it first. You hit the hot spots, bam, the right man titty, boom, the left man titty, boom, <laughs> the side roll right there, boom, the second side roll, and don't act like you ain't got it. You hit under the belly. You know what? You know when you sweat, you get that rip. You put <laughs> put it right under weird. the belly. I <laughs> promise weird. you, when you start sweating. You gonna smell like the scent you got. So if you pick the right scent that's for you, every time you sweat, you give that aroma off instead of that sweaty smell. And then last thing, because we all have locks and we also have beards, maintain your hair and your beards. Use your beard oils. Use your beard mm -hmm. butters. You just mm -hmm. maintain that because also you could be smelling good. You can have a stinky hair or huh. grimy huh. hair. Like yo, do not, yo, do not have that. And 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 let Alexa, you tell me if, if if I'm off or not about this. Tell me if that ain't one of the biggest turn offs you get if you go hug a dude and knows and his hair stinks. If anything stinks, yeah. Big turn -off. <laughs> like I'm like, okay, you jumped in the shower, cool. What your hair smell like? You didn't. You have not outside tested like <laughs> months. Man. We got oil, like you know, all that. Yo, yeah, some, like, nah, some some cats do not do nothing to it, bro. Be and it be yeah. looking right and go smelling. You like, Ooh. yeah, it smell like a wet dog, like you know, just Ugh. why your dread smell expired? Because like, people yo, people have this notion wash. that you can't wash dreads. You You're just you like can. no, you wash, can. Like you can wash. Oh, you I can watch wash. videos of women like doing you know, a lot. Yes, oh, under. Understand this, that is a, that is a pure myth. The cleaner your locks are, the easier they will lock and the faster they will grow. Yes. And that's why that's yes. why these grew this long in six years. Yeah, yes. bro. This good. is this is two years. This is two years. My hair that's, is about, that's a lot. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Just I don't have locks. I just have I have hair. So you have hair, and you but you do right. a lot to your hair too, yeah. and it's still and it's still like you said, you maintained it to where it's like, yeah. yo, I'm making you sure it's not gonna stink. You definitely yep. maintain your hair and you keep it up, and it's just every two to three weeks. Well, you yes. want to know what's funny? In the in our in our concept trailer for the Black Geek documentary, I use Pierre 
when we talking about black folks, you see him. He says, ah, don't you see the skin? Because, okay, so my homeboy, right? Um, he used to tell me sometimes, because I'm not going to lie, I do be forgetting to put on deodorant and stuff. He'd be telling bro, you stink. And I'm like, I appreciate that. Because you gotta, you have to have a homie that tells yes. you, like, to, to give you your honest opinion. Like, bro, you stink. Like, you need to do something with that. And I'm like, all right, bro. All right, bet. So eventually, like, when I, when all that stuff stopped, I just like, you know what, man? I want to smell good. I want to smell great and all this stuff. So, like, somehow I found shea butter. I, I used the oil for a little bit, but I heard about this, uh, this hack where you put oil first and then shea butter or something like that. It will seal the oil or something. I forgot. I forgot yeah. which one is it. But uh, I'm gonna start trying that out too. But I start using shea butter. I start like just like have me feel good, like you know, make have me smell good and stuff. Because every time I come out the shower, I always put on shea butter and everything, and I'd be like, "Woo, you smell good." And then when I'm out and about giving people hugs, they be like, "Wow, you smell so good." I'm like, "Yeah, no, huh?" <laughs> No, right. As a black right. man, it feels good, to, especially when a black woman tells you you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, I, I try my best to like let men know, especially black men. I actually yes. only black men. I do my best to like just <laughs> hello. Let y'all know man. we appreciate hello, that. white man. Thank you. Yeah, hello, white man. Black hello. man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, baby. Me. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Fuzz That's heavyweight. Good. For us heavyweight fellas, if you for damn show can get the you smell good, yes. Because a lot of y'all, come on, man. Oh, shit. Oh, come damn. Man. Sorry, my camera messed up. My bad. I didn't know I took out my camera part. My bad. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you good. I'm just talking about nothing. My bad. I was hey, man. changing something. Go ahead. It's all good, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, are y'all ready to get into this <laughs> anime episode? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, I'm that's ready. good warm up, right? Yes. Good warm up, right? Great warm up. Great warm up. 